a person who is not a minister in the government have to be a member of the standing of the public accounts committee he made that observation because he want to make sure that he remind them of the of the rules so that not all the members of the government in the lower house can become a minister i was asked to check as the standing orders dictated the public accounts committee of this house everyone is aware of this so speaker i have pointed out to the clerk and others there was a fundamental breach of the standing orders as they are over the years 15 20 just go back as much as you want and i indicated that the standing orders clearly states that the composition of this body, which is a critical body for the governance of this country. It was a deliberate act. A deliberate act. So watch that closely and process it and see how it plays out because he 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 used that card and um he did not it's been seven months six seven months he never raised it you see when there is no opposition in the house the standing orders allow for members from the other place to be members of that public accounts committee but when there is an there when there is opposition in the house and there is a member in the government that's not a minister that person automatically or not automatically the government must name someone who is not a minister to be on that public accounts committee i hope it's not you i hope it is not you because if you are you will be under uh, the chairmanship of Dr. Mitchell and um, two or three of, of your former colleagues. And that is where some problems might end, political problems might end. And it says it's the lower house members who do not have official government responsibilities ought to be members maximum five, minimum three. It's clearly written. So there's no mystery here. Mr. Speaker, when the Parliament met and there were announcements, I was indeed surprised. That, that was the leader of government business speaking on behalf of the government, which is his right. And I saw senators on the committee. And Mr. Speaker, I made the point without making a lot of noises, because I could have made noises then, and I didn't because I felt it's a new period of parliamentary system, and therefore give it some time. And I wanted to provide as much information behind the scene, so I spoke to persons. Mr. Speaker, I think what could have happened is the last period of, of the Parliament of this country. The Public Accounts Committee did have members of the Senate. But that was a result of the House being composed com of all members of one side of the Parliament. And we, at that point, felt we could have stuck to the principles of the standing orders and do nothing. And then we'd have no public accounts committee. So we were tortured by this. The question is, what did we do? Uh, we sought advice from persons locally and regionally. 
And the advice we were given is that, as a special case, given the present composition of the House, that we should bring a motion to Parliament to allow for just this particular period, not for and forth, for senators to be asked to be members of the public, public accounts, because we felt there was an absolute need. When we're talking about accountability and governance and responsibility, that's fundamental. So it was then, Mr. Speaker, it was agreed that we should have members on this side of the house, um, from the other house. Mr. Speaker, I offer those advice that we should correct this and it should only be members of the law house. Mr. Speaker, go and behold, I was being told through my secretary at my office that I was being advised through the, the leader of government business, through the speaker, truly the clerk, that I should take a motion to Parliament to change the present construct to go back. I must bring the motion. So speaker, the responsibility of the initiative to name the Public Accounts Committee does not come from the opposition. It is the governing institution. And therefore, I thought that was a little bit of out of order. And I expressed those views. And I got it back over and over that I should. Mr. Speaker, I said, please do not put down on the other paper any motion of me because I'm speaking to history. So it must never be felt that I was part of this charade. So I made it very clear, Mr. Speaker, that the government side needs to correct that fundamental, because right now we have a public accounts committee that is not properly constituted. And therefore we should correct it. But the onus is not me, on me, to do that correction. I make it very clear, and I will take no responsibility for any, any incorrect or improper construct of the public accounts committee. That is the responsibility of the government side, and they must do it. What should happen, and what has consistently happened when there were two, there were an opposition in the House and the government side, the leader of government business consults with the leader of the opposition or any senior member so appointed by the opposition to decide on the composition. In other words, the government should not, they could do it because they have the response, they have the power. They should not just come to parliament and name a committee and then we accept it. And then in my case, as leader of the, the opposition and by implication, chairman of the public accounts committee, just be given <laughs> a, 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 a construct and to say, look, this is your team. You, 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 you now take that team to the playing field. You know, as a former cricketer, uh, I, I will never want the selectors just to choose a team and just say, go for it and just play. I want to know the members of the team and I would want to be part of usually any, any serious cricket team. The selectors call in the captain, you know what I mean? And then, so Mr. Speaker, I'm using some metaphor for, for fun for, to, to deal with this, but it's a serious issue. And I'm making it here, standing here, on personal explanation, because it affects me. So, to the government side, appealing to them, to please, we, at this point after 10 months, 11 months of government, we do not have a properly constituted public accounts committee, and I would call no such meeting until that is properly constituted. Hi everyone, thanks for checking out the Bud Report's social media pages. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, 
and watch our weekly live show. Follow our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram pages. And also subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can catch repeat episodes on Wednesdays at 4 and 5 p.m. respectively on CRFM Radio and GBN TV in Grenada. We are also viewed on Sundays at 8 p.m. on WPG10 throughout the Caribbean. Thanks for watching.